Hi, in this video, we will talk about query parameters in REST Assured. So in our previous video, we discussed about path parameters or path variables. So in this video, we will discuss about query parameters in REST Assured, how we can use this query parameters in your REST Assured program, okay? So first we'll discuss about what are query parameters. So query parameters are appended to the URL. These are appended to the URL after a question mark that is question mark and separated by and if you have more than one question mark information is if you want to uh, query with uh, multiple sets of data then you need to separate them by separated by ampersands that is this symbol okay so I'll tell you what exactly those are while uh, looking into the actual API. So query parameters are appended to the URL after a question mark and uh, separated by a ampersand symbol. Okay, so these are used. So they are used for filtering, comma sorting, or specifying additional information additional information about a request or for a request, whatever it is. So with the help of these query parameters, you can filter, you can sort or specify additional information to your request. Okay. So query parameters are optional. These are optional and can be used for and can be used for operations that Query parameters are optional and can be used for operations that don't that don't necessarily necessarily identify a specific resource. Okay, specific resource. For the specific resource, what we did, we use path parameters. But here, query parameters are optional and can be used for operations that don't necessarily identify a specific resource. But if you want to get a specific resource, for that, we need to use path parameters that we discussed in our previous video. Okay, you can watch that for better understanding. So here, query parameters are appended to the URL after a question mark and uh, separated by ampersand. And these are used for filtering, sorting, or specifying additional information to your request. Okay, so first we will see one example with uh, Postman. Okay, and then, so I have a request https api.github.com slash search slash repository. So I want to search some information. Okay. So I want to search some information. What information on that query? So you need to mention a question mark. Okay. So they need to provide a question mark. And then what is that Q? They provided value is Q. Q is equals to so topic colon Java. Okay. So the moment when you mention question mark, Q is equal to topic Java, you see the path parameters added here. You see Q, topic colon Java. Okay. And if you want to provide more information, ampersand means the end. I want to get the 10th page information, page equals to 10. Okay. You see that page also added here. So, in the repositories, in the public repositories, there are n number of repositories are there. Okay. So in that repository, I want Java repositories and that also 10th page information. Okay. So if you remove this information and if you try to send, I don't, okay, you will not get this information. So for that, uh, some other, uh, what do you say, like, uh, request is there, but okay, we'll see this. So Q is after question mark, Q is equals to topic colon Java and page equals to 10. Then if you send, you see the total count is 2,24,120 repositories are there with Java topic, but I'm getting only 10th page information. Okay. So these are must multiple, uh, inf uh, the information shown in the form of multiple pages. I want to get the 10th page. So you see that there is a huge response. There is a huge response I'm getting. 
okay uh, in the 10th page first one is shopping management system okay but if i change this to one and send first page i'll get in the first page you see cs notes so this filter is filtering is working okay and in the first page also you have huge information but i don't want uh, that much information okay so per page i want only i want to show only 20 repositories information so i can give on another another ampersand another ampersand and i can provide that information but this time what i'll do i'll provide from here key value pair okay and observe here in the url it will it will automatically add ampersand and this information what is that per underscore page you see that the moment i'm typing it is coming per underscore page i want to display only two repositories on the first page i want to represent i want to show only two repositories and then send you see that cs nets is one if you go down and the second is java guide okay so we'll see after this we have any more information you see that done only two repositories it is showing on the first page if you mention five it will show five repositories here okay if you go down previously it is java guide right so this time it will be fifth one might be some other name that is advanced java something like that okay so i am filtering the searched data i am searching the data with the help of these search topics okay so this is how you can perform i mean you can use query parameters in your request okay so we'll see the same thing in rest assured so i created a class called query parameters in rest assured i created a method called query parameter inside this rest assured sorry rest assured dot what is that given rest assured dot given and in the given you need to provide previously we mentioned path parameters see in our previous video we see path parameters so here query parameter it's a query param what is that query first query is q and then what is that value topic colon java okay and we have one more query parameter you can say put da dot and query parameters again I need to get the page information, second page information, something like that. Okay. So, and then we need header. So we need header information. Let me take this from here. The same bearer token we need to use here also. So after that, after that, when we need to perform this get operation, and here we don't need to mention entire information we just need before q what is that information uh, value is there that we need to take okay so in the path parameters after repos whatever information we mentioned in the path parameter that went into your url okay this owner information repo information but in the query parameters, we don't need to mention this information to the query. Okay. Automatically, it will consider this information and it'll filter the data. Okay. So I'm taking till here only. Mm. Okay. First we'll see. Then, then log dot body. Okay. So, oh. mm. I am taking the query param uh, query is topic Java and another query parameter page second page information for this URL request. Okay, so let me run this. Then. It has given that information. If you go up, if 
let me go up sorry you see it is showing from here only i'm not i'm not able to go uh, to the up the reason is there is a huge data but the console is not sufficient to display that information so that huge information it is printing so because of that what i'll do i will narrow down my search okay query parameter so per page per page i'm adding one more query parameter that is only uh, this is integer i'll provide only two records only two repository information okay then if you run again if you go to the console now if you go up you can see full information the first repo is java design patterns in the second page the first repo is java design pattern and the another one is mall m a l l mall that's it okay so this is how you can provide if you want more information five repositories i want to get okay provide the per page five if you want to get 15th page information in the 15th page this one run five repositories i'm printing if you go up now you see this name is ip2 region something like that okay i don't want uh, java related information i want javascript related information so mention javascript and run again so this time it will pull all the javascript related information repositories on the 15th page and it will mention here print here you see that full name is hex hexo something like that okay another repo you can see draw ivo something like that okay so this is how you can filter your data using these query parameters okay with the help of query parameters you can what you can do you can filter you can sort okay you can specific additional info uh, oh uh, this, what is it like yeah, okay uh, filtering and sorting these kind of in, uh, operations you can perform on your request okay so this is all about query parameters in rest assured okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you